Welcome back everyone. So in the next couple weeks, we're going to be taking a look at uh, me building an arch canopy top for my daughter. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so my daughter wants a arch canopy. Well, not necessarily an arch canopy, but we got to do an arch canopy on her bed. Um, after she went to uh, Williamsburg and saw all the flowery ornate stuff um, that they had at that point. So uh, what I'm doing here is basically I'm going to make a half pattern um, out of this plywood. And then I will um, put it, uh, take some MDF and slap it together. Um, so what you, if you don't have someone to help, you'll have to like tack nails down or whatever. But I just took like a... That's uh, so probably three sixteenths. Probably want something a little more flexible than what I had, but I just laid it in here like this, and then just bent it to what it was. Now mine, um, I've got a twelve inch rise um, because when I made her bed posts, they were um, shorter than they typically would be if they were a full size. I just personally, for me, I don't like since she has a twin bed. I don't like the posts that go up the, uh, I think it's 84 inches. Um, I, it just, it looks weird to me. So I shortened the posts. So anyway, so I've got to do a, a, a higher rise so that she doesn't bonk her head um, on it. So what I'll do is I'll cut this out, smooth it out, chop it in half, and then I'll make a full size pattern out of um, a piece of uh, MDF, and then I'll route this thing out and uh, you'll kind of see how that goes. What I got here is I made a pattern and uh, what I'm gonna do, it's a half pattern is once I route this side, then I'll flip it over and route that side and I'll have perfectly parallel. second attempt because I did what um, I accuse people of a lot of times is well I don't know about I accuse people but sometimes you just get stuck in a mode of thinking and you plow through just the way you normally would with something and you don't really think about the repercussions well this was one of those cases when I always run um, pattern bits you always run the bearing off the pattern well this is like an inch and a half uh, depth on this bit. It's a big bit. And I thought, well, it's MDF. It should be okay. Well, I was fine until I got about right here. And I had that thing on my, on my you know running on my pattern. And I had a good chunk of it you know, down in that MDF. And then when I came down on this side, it was so much uh, force on everything that it was rattling me back and forth. And I ended up gouging out and messing up this whole side over here so I called in the night and I got to thinking about it and my first thought was okay I'm gonna have to come in here with a three-quarter bit I mean a half inch bit and then a three-quarter inch bit and then I'll come in with the seven-eighth bit and then it dawned on me hey dummy this is a circle <laughs> you can just follow it with the outside so, that's what I did was I came in about, I don't know, a quarter, half inch, and ran my pattern um, against my base instead of against the bearing. So, you don't have to have a, a bearing um, bit for this. So, sometimes uh, 
you do stupid things. Um, I don't know. I tend to do them a lot. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But anyway, I got it made, and it's all nice now. Um, one thing you want to do that I did add on here um, is I added some uh, some blocks um, just for alignment so that I'm flush on each end. So I just one in the middle, two on the sides. So that way when it comes together, it's flush. So now I got to make the bit. And I want to I want to give credit where credit due. Um, I got some tips and things on uh, how to make this from um, Charles Neal. So if you haven't ever checked him out, go to his YouTube uh, page. And also, um, I would say it's worth subscribing um, and paying 20 bucks a month for his Mastering Woodworking show because there's so much information on there. But anyway, uh, we kind of conversed this over um, email and such. But anyway... Um, so I got to go now. I'm going to make my laminations. It's going to be laminated. So I got to make seven eighth inch laminations out of tiger maple. So let's go cut those. enjoyed this week make sure you catch us next week for part two and we'll see you next time